The Punchy Boys are in a top spot in the meta right now, and it's down to a few things. Solar and Strand Titans are incredibly good by default, but on top of that, they have these two exotics, the Symphoseps and Worm God Caress. And I knew these things were good, but after checking them both out in more detail, yeah, they're kind of busted. But which should you be using? First up, the Symphoseps. These are the easiest of the two to get maximum benefits from, and activate by simply being within 15 meters of three or more enemies. With this criteria met, you will have 165% melee damage, 50% super damage, and plus 35 to handling and reload. This effect will also linger for 8 seconds when no longer surrounded. Because of the playstyle attributed to running Symphoseps, which is just essentially running headfirst into enemies, the more of a passive effect exotic, which will just help keep your ability damage boosted. The weapon handling and reload bumps actually does come in handy as well when utilising something such as a 1 2 punch shotgun. The Worm God Caress got a change this season to make maintaining higher stacks of its exotic perk Burning Fist easier. These stacks are built up by scoring melee kills, up to a max of 5, and provide these melee damage benefits. So with these, you can obtain a higher maximum amount than the previous exotic Symphoseps, but this requires a bit of setup, although not a particularly difficult one. To maintain the same damage bonus or higher than Symphoseps, you will need to remain above 3 stacks. These stacks do degrade over time however, with the higher tiers being removed quicker at these times. And while the Symphoseps also gives a benefit to super damage, the Worm God Caress instead provides weapon damage, also increasing with Burning Fist stacks at these values. To be completely honest, I wasn't even aware this was a thing. But it is a huge benefit if you're weaving in weapon hits between melees, which in most circumstances you probably will be. This effect will not stack with other class based weapon damage increases though, such as Radiant, but it will stack with external buffs such as weapon surges. So that's how both the exotics work. Now, where is the ideal place to use either one or the other? Is one of them simply just better overall? Here's what I think would be the probably ideal scenario for both exotics. In this first scenario, you are running a GM Nightfall with Banner of War Titan. And here, I would probably go with Symphoseps. The reason being because throughout the strike, you'll be fighting a mixture of enemies, but mainly red bars, a few majors, and champions. Symphoseps easy to activate buff will be more than enough here, and doesn't require any more setup. The Blade Fury Super will also be used as much as possible throughout the strike, and Symphoseps will boost the potency of this. And there's also a few traversal sections in pretty much every strike, where Worm God stacks will be lost in this process. Symphoseps won't have this problem. But in the next scenario, you're fighting a dungeon boss, one which is possible to defeat with melee damage, which is pretty much all of them. Because it has a higher potential damage, and that potential can actually be met with a higher density and high health boss target, maintaining 4 or 5 stacks of burning fists alongside 1-2 punch, banner of war, grapple melees, is all needed to take out this boss in one phase. Missing out on any of these would make it almost impossible, at least while solo, to one phase, thus essentially doubling the length of the encounter. But all in all, to be completely honest, a regular Destiny player who completes a combination of dungeons, raids, nightfalls, and any other somewhat high-end PV activities will be better off a majority of time on Symphoseps. At a guess, I'd probably weigh it about 80-20 split, favouring Symphoseps. While Worm God does have a potential hardest hit, look at it this way. Exception of a few boss targets, does it really matter if you melee a target which say has 100k hit points with a hit of 120k or 200k? Not really, so the exotic with less setup would be the go to. The 50% increase of super damage is not to be ignored either. Blade Fury or even Hammer of Soul can deal heavy damage with this boost. Essentially with the Worm God, it's just for your min-maxers, who want the best possible burst damage utilising everything the game has to offer. While not 100% practical everywhere, if you can get it going, it's amazing. Maybe slightly overkill at times. But Symphoseps is for everything else. If you don't know what to use, use Symphoseps. It helps out the whole Titan kit and is essentially just equip and forget. Oh yeah, and both of these exotics also increase glaive melee damage too. That one guy who still uses glaives. Here's the numbers for each. 
So that's my take on these exotics. I'd favor Symphoseps ever so slightly, but if I was to rank all Titan exotics, these would both sit at spots number one and number two. Both do way too much for a single item, but I mean, it is what it is. Might as well make good use of them while they're this good. Thank you for watching.